and welcome back to my channel. If we haven't even met before, my name is Shiv. Hello, and if you're coming back, then welcome. So in today's video, I have this look for you right here. It's me just simply playing around with makeup and being inspired by some amazing artists on Instagram. I'll have everything linked down below. And this is the look that I came up with. I played with the Morphe James Charles palette and a few other little goodies. So yeah, if you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then please carry on watching. Before you do, please give the video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already means the world thank you so much and let's just carry on with the video and I'm just going to take this brow pomade on my Anastasia synthetic brow brush now I'm just going to go ahead and fill in my brows I like to do this by drawing a line from the bottom of the brow usually I don't include brows but I felt like including them today just because some people would like to know maybe how I do the brows I guess then I'm just going to continue the line underneath just following the natural shape of my brow. I'm lucky I have quite arched brows like naturally anyway. So I'm just enhancing that. Then I'll take the product and draw from like where the arch should be. And you can measure that by putting your brush by your nostril and then lining up through your pupil on where the top of the line is, is where the highest part of the arch should be. Just gonna draw a line down here and then draw a line on the top of my brow and join it to that line there and then fill it in. <laughs> Then to carve out my brows, I'm going to take the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C4. I'm just going to take it straight from the tube, dot it on my eyes. This is running out, but I'm going to order some more tomorrow because it's my favourite thing to like prime the eyes with and carve out the brows. It just dries, well sets even, so it's just the perfect concealer to do this with. That all over, so there's nice amount on there. Then I'm going to take this brush from Amit Makeup, it's the L312 brush, although to be honest you can use any kind of really thin like lip brush will do for this. So I'm just going to start by kind of scooping some of the concealer up with the brush and then underlining the brow to carve it out. And then just taking it all the way down the tail brow and then it just smoothing over the product with the brush to make sure it's nice and even then i'm going to take whatever's left on the brush just to kind of carve out the front section of my brow just because the product can go a little bit smudgy around here just clean it up a little bit I'm just gonna take my ring finger and pat down the concealer just so it's really even and like melted into the skin. So now I've finished my brows, it's time to move on to the eyeshadow. The first shade I'll be taking is a really nice orange shade called 518 right here. And I'm taking this on my Sigma E40 Tapered Blending Brush. Okay, I'm just going to make sure there's no creasing on the lid before I apply the eyeshadow. And then just tap this into the crease just because the concealer hasn't been set so otherwise it will kind of skip a little bit so i'm just going to really pack that in there you can kind of wiggle it into the crease i'm taking this all the way across right up to the end of the eye i'm just going to keep packing on the color until it's really intense Doing a little wiggle on the outer corner. And then just going back and forth to blend it out and make sure it's nice and smooth. The next shade that I'm gonna go in with is this kind of corally red color. Corally orangey red, I don't know how to describe it, but it's really unique. And it's called Rusted, and I'm gonna take it right here. And the brush that I'll be using to apply is the Zoeva 227 Lux Soft Definer Brush. Just tapping off the excess, and then I'm going to work this into a deeper part of the crease. Just not blending up so high. Working it back and forth and blending it in, and then smoking it out on the outer edges. This is a really pretty color. The 
then I'm going to go back in with that lighter 518 orangey shade and use this to blend out that brighter neony orange just so it's still peeking through because we've kind of lost it a little bit. I think what I've learned with eyeshadow recently is just don't actually be afraid to take it really high up your eye especially if you don't have a lot of lid space. That's if you do like that look of course. Makeup is so personal and I hate people who like don't hate people. I hate it when people bash certain makeup techniques and there's videos like don't do your eyeshadow like this and blah, blah, blah. makeup is so personal but I just feel like I've learned that it's actually quite okay to take it right up to your brow bone if it's like a very soft blend because look I don't have anything like in the brow area but it's like a really nice blend going on and it actually looks really nice so don't be afraid to go large with your shadow the next shade that I'm going to go in with is this one right here which is called love that Am I American yet? I don't know. This is what I'm going to take right here and use this to deepen up the crease even further. And the brush that I'm using is the Sigma E25 blending brush. I'm going to use this to deepen up that outer corner area, but I'm not going to take it all the way inwards. At least try not to anyway. Ooh, sunset vibes stamping it onto the outer kind of third of the eye and just wiggling my brush to really blend it out. Then I'm going to go back through the colours just to blend it all out. Now it's time to cut the crease and I'm going to take my Revolution Concealer. I'm just going to load up this synthetic brush with the concealer, whatever's left of it. I'm simply running out. Oh my god. We can make it work. We can make it work. Now I'm going to cut my crease, but I'm doing this weird like rainbow liner kind of thing through the crease of my eye, which will go about here. So that's where I really need to cut it. So it is going to be quite high up actually, but hopefully it doesn't cover up all of the blending, which is why I think I take it so high up the lid because I don't have a lot of eye space. I've been watching Erin recently. I'll leave her channel down below. She's such a sweetheart and she's so talented. And that's what she said in her video. She's like, I have a really small eyelid space. So I'm just trying to work with what I've got. And I get that. I'm just going to cut the lid where I'd want it. I'm not doing the trick where you like close your eyes and then look up because just of this type of makeup look I feel like this will be easier for myself. Then I'm going to pull it down a little bit but it doesn't matter too much as we are going to be putting some like ombre liner situation up in there. I've got no idea if this is going to work because I've never tried anything like this ever before. So I need three little brushes. Let me try and find those. Now I've just had a rummage and managed to find three little brushes. One's an angled liner brush, one's a little paint brush from Snazaru and one's a little angled brush which I can use for the outer bit of it. So let's just get started on this weird ombre liner. I don't know how this is going to go but we're going to give it a good go and just see what happens. Okay. So, okay, so the first shade that I'm going to take for the ombre liner on the inner kind of section is this bright neon pink called Skip. It's like a Barbie pink. Very, very Barbie pink. Right, I've tapped off the excess and now I'm just going to tap that over the inner part of the concealer. The next shade that I'm going to go into is this one right here, which is called Single. And I'm just taking this on a little paintbrush, basically. Okay, and then I'm going to pack this in the top part of the like cut crease. Okay, they feel like the purple looks a bit crisper. I think it's because the pink is so close to like this orangey color. Next, I'm gonna go into this dark purple shade called Escape. And I'm just taking this little angled brush. I'm just going to go back through the colours to kind of intensify it as much as I can. Just going back in with my concealer to like recut the crease. Whew. 
Oh, I can actually feel the tension in the air. I'm trying not to look up right now. So I'm scared it's gonna transfer everywhere. The next shade I'm taking is this beautiful sparkly purple shade, which I've been dying to get my mitts on. And this is called Artistry. I'm just gonna spray my brush with a little bit of primer water and then pop this on top of the concealer. This is so tricky, I need a really tiny brush, tiny brush, tiny brush. Okay, I'm just taking a really tiny brush so I can get close to the like cup crease. And this is the BH Cosmetics number 11 brush. Okay, more holding in my breath is coming up because now I'm going to apply a liner. I'm not going to do a wing, I just don't feel like it will suit it. I think I'm just gonna do a like reasonably thickish line just across the... I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D tattoo liner. I feel like a little wing will look okay. So now both eyes are up to date. I am really feeling this makeup look and I think it's gonna look really good once it's completed. So now I'm going to move on to curling my lashes. I'm just taking my Primark eyelash curlers, just standard, give them a good old squeeze. Then for mascara, I'm gonna take the Touch and Soul Paper Push Up Mascara. Then I'm just going to apply this to my lashes. Oh no. Okay, I didn't realize that it has all the fibers on it and I can't use fiber lash mascaras. Oh no, okay, we're gonna go in with a new mascara. I'm gonna take the Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara instead. This is just a little sample. I have loads of mascara samples over from like Christmas, like buying things and getting samples and etc. So I'm just trying to use them all up to be completely honest, but this is actually really nice, so I really like it. So I'm just gonna pop this mascara on. This creates really thick lashes, so just bear that in mind if that's not something you like, then stay away from this mascara. And I'm also just being really careful to try and not get it on my eyeshadow because I don't know how the hell I'm gonna fix that. For lashes, I'm gonna take the Morphe Melrose Avenue lashes. I'm gonna pop these on off screen and I'll be right back. Next, I'm going to pop a purple liner in my waterline, and this is the Rimmel Smoke and Shine Automatic Gel Eyeliner in the shade Purple Crates. I'm just going to pop this in my waterline. Then I'm going to apply the cut crease colours to my lower lash line, just starting off with the pink. So I'm just going to take the pink on the same brush and then pop this in the inner corner and also like the inner third of the lower lash line. Do you know what's the irony of today is the, fil the fact that I'm filming a skincare like Instagram video afterwards to show you like my new favourite skincare obsessions and a huge spot has just popped up on my cheek overnight. The irony, I literally had like perfectly clear skin apart from scars like up until this morning and i woke up with this so cool but i'm still gonna film it next up is the light purple and then the dark purple now it's time to move on to my face i'm gonna do my like a highlight on my brow bone and inner corner much later in the video just because i feel like i just it will add the final touch you know for foundation, I'm going to take my Milani Conceal and Perfect Foundation in the shade Natural. The pump doesn't work anymore, so I just have to take it straight from the spatula, which I know is super hygienic, but that's what we're doing. Then I'm going to take my Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge and use this to blend it all out. For concealer, I'm going to take my Avon Concealer Stick in the shade Dark. It doesn't have much left because I'm trying to use it up, and I'm going to go under my cheekbones, around my temples, and then around the tops of my forehead, and then down the sides of my nose, and then under my lip as well, and then under my jaw, Then to blend it out, I'm going to take this Smashbox Cream Cheek Brush, which I got recently, to blend out my cream contour, and my Real Techniques one is now going. <laughs> Just going to blend this out in circular motions. <laughs> I 
moving on to concealer, I'm going in with a new concealer, which is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer, and I got the shade Almond. I'm going to pop this in my usual places, so on the middle of my forehead, down the centre of my nose, chin, and then under the eyes. And of course, I'm going to blend it out using my Real Technique sponge. Forget how far this concealer goes, and I've got way too much. I'm just going to go in with a liquid illuminator now, and I'm taking my NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator in the shade Sunbeam. I'm just going to pop this on top of my cheekbones as a base for the highlight because I want that popping highlight. Popping some on my fingertip and then just dabbing this on top of my cheekbones, a little bit on my nose actually, and my lip. For my highlight, I'm going to go in with the ColourPop on the cusp Super Shock Cheek Pearlized Highlighter. This is from the Kathleen Lights Collection. And I'm just going to take this beautiful highlighter using my Anastasia A23 highlighting brush. This is a very unique highlighter because it's almost like a cream to powder kind of feel to it, but it is absolutely beautiful. So I'm going to go and pack that on top of that highlighter. Just keep kind of buffing it out. This brush is not working. I'm going to switch to my Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush. I think with that highlighting brush, it just feels a lot scratchier than this Zoeva one. I'm not saying it's a bad brush. Just with this type of highlighter, I feel like you need something really fluffy. Yeah, that works so much better. This is the Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion Brush, which is the one that I always use for highlighting. Really pack that on there. I've noticed recently when I look back on my videos, when I look like this, I have a really harsh line. And obviously, because I face like completely to the front, I never really notice it. So please don't leave me a nasty comment because I did not know. Put it on my nose. Next for my face powder, I'm going to take the Too Faced Peach Perfect Mattifying Loose Setting Powder, which is amazing. It just gets everywhere, so I don't use it every day. Then I'm going to take the powder and just dip it in and tap off the excess and then pat this into the skin. So I'm just going to use the brush to kind of like buff in the powder. For contour, I'm going to take my Knit & Fab Light Contour Kit and go in with the shade Ginger. And my BH Cosmetics number 3 contour brush. Just under my cheekbones and where we put that cream contour earlier. Then because I'm feeling super extra today, I'm going to go in with a Too Faced Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder. This is the same range as this. It's just kind of like a finishing powder. It's not a highlight because it's not like that shimmery and it doesn't look that colour. It just looks really beautiful like under the eyes and kind of in spotlight places. So I'm going to take this on a real lang langnickel, langnickel brush. I'm going to pat this under the eyes. And then on the forehead as well, just a little bit, because I'm feeling that bougie today. For bronzer, I'm going to take this teeny tiny little mini hula. It comes in those like long like packets of mini, mini things. But yeah, I'm going to take this mini Benefit Hula bronzer. I'm taking it on my Fancy Co bronzing brush. If you guys haven't checked out Fancy Co already, you need to. They don't do makeup or anything, but they do do this brush set. But they are just the nicest company ever. Like they are just so freaking sweet and like I really rate companies like that. So definitely check them out as well. The links will be down below. I'm going to bronze up my face. Then to fit the benefit theme for the cheeks, I'm going to take the Havana blusher, which is like the pinky purple one. And I'm going to take up my Real Techniques blush brush, tapping this onto the apples of my cheeks. Then I'm just going to give it a quick blend with the bronzer brush. Next up, I'm going to set my face. I'm taking the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Next, I'm just going to add some more highlight. I'm going to take the ColourPop highlighter again and just put some of this like above the brow. It just looks pretty like when you catch the light. Then I'm going to take a pencil brush and pop this onto my brow bone. Then I'm also going to pop some of that in my inner corner. 
I'm just going to take the brush that had the orangey shade on just to blend out the highlight, being a little bit careful not to ruin the harsh line underneath. Next I'm going to pop some mascara on my lower lashes. Then I'm going to pop some brow gel through my brows. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Chocolate. Then for lips, I'm going to go in with MAC Spice Lip Liner. Then for lips, I'm going to go in with Morphe's Wifey Lipstick. I feel like a bit of a glossy mood so I'm going to go in with the Soap and Glory Sexy Mother Pucker Gloss in the shade Papa Don't Peach. Oh my god what? I feel like this is my Too Faced Papa Don't Peach blusher and this is the Soap and Glory Papa Don't Peach lip gloss. How weird is that? Hmm. I'm just going to pop this on anyway. And this is the finished makeup look. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video and you like how this makeup look turned out. Be sure to follow me on Instagram. My handle is Siobhan Makeup is the same as everything else on social media. Please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. It's completely free and it means the absolute world. If you are already subscribed, thank you so much. If you just subscribed, thank you so much. But yeah, I really like the way this makeup look turned out. It's definitely something different and I feel like I just want to get more and more and more and more creative throughout the year. So this is fun and yeah i shall see you next time thanks so much for watching bye the first shade i'll be taking is this gorgeous orange gorgeous and i'm taking this on my sigma e44 e44 making that brush up i don't even know if it exists let's do this let's do some cool makeups right Whew. freaking for cream for cream contour i'm gonna take my avon concealer sh shit <laughs> It's Born to Glow Mattifying Loose Petting Petting Powder. Petting Powder. And I'm taking it again. No, I'm not. Next up, I'm going. And then, then I'm going to pop some brow gel for my lips. I'm going to go in with Max. What? And this is the finished makeup look. Mm -mm.